Hey guys, it is me, Lightning, and today, guys, in this video, we'll be doing a full review on the Mr. Uh, Mr. Hop's Manor Escape, guys. This is the brand new game you can play on the phone and PC, Android, and Apple. You can play it now. So, we'll be talking about the full entire review about, I guess, everything about the game. So, without further ado, let's go on into the review. So, first of all, the game is, first of all, definitely amazing to think about it. And sorry for, like, the little lag here. But the game is really amazing. It's definitely good because, first of all, it's not just, like, it has no story to it, sadly. And I don't know why it's lagging. So the whole entire game, like I said, guys, Sally has no story to it. And if you see the footage lag in the background, I'm definitely sorry about that. But the whole entire game, like I said, also, no full story to it. But it's definitely amazing when you actually do think about it. Because, yeah, I mean, you don't really need a story. Like, do you really need a story for a game like this? It's just a, meant to, you know, get us, like, get a little appetizer until Mr. Ops 3 comes out. And yes, Mr. Ops 3 officially is going to come out. I did a whole video on that. Then we go check it out. But this one, you have to go around a randomly generated mansion where you're able to walk around different rooms, get different keys, ex escape, or just three different endings, being the explosive ending, the front door ending, and the back door ending. I'm calling it that because I don't know the official name of it, and I'm just officially calling it that. Like I said, don't know the official name, and sorry about the lag in the background still. But, yeah, you make sound, Mr. Hop comes and chases you. In this video, this is the whole, uh, I'm playing in practice mode. They have four different modes. Practice mode, easy mode, media mode, and hard mode. In practice mode, you have no monsters chasing you, and and also within uh, easy mode, you only have one monster you can choose from any of the tiger or any of the other monsters that could chase you, and so on and so on. And also, guys, I did switch out the gameplay in the back, so it's not actually laggy this time, just so you guys don't have to witness the lag. And that was getting annoying for me, and I wasn't even, I was, like, watching in the background. But yes, guys, so... The whole entire game, like I said, guys, different endings, easy, I mean, different modes, easy mode, only have one monster within, I could choose from any of the three different, Mr. Shag, Mr. Bow, and Mr. Hops, and then, uh, medium mode, you can pick from two different monsters, and hard mode, you can pick from all three different monsters, and really, that's it. You collect all these little man uh, medallion, medallions, you get a book, you can put the book in one of the shelves, and it get medallion, get all two different painting pieces, get a medallion, and just run around the whole entire game to get the rest of them, and all the Mr. Hops, and all the monsters turn into plushies, making the rest of the game really easy for you to beat. And, yeah, if you do defeat some of the mode fast enough and do some good stuff, you know, you'll be able to actually get yourself some skins. Four different skins, one of them being Esther, the one you get for free. Then you got here Isaac and Molly. And also you got here Ruby uh, from the first game, Mr. Ops. So you actually have all these four different skins to pick from. And each skin has different jump scares. It's definitely really cool. I'm still trying to get all of them, you know, to do a whole video on all the jump scares. Still trying to get all the skins so I can show you guys all of them. So that's definitely good. I definitely do love it. And this game is, I think, also for free. So, you know, a plus side of that. I think it's for free. You know what? I guess I gotta double check. You know, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I think it's for free. I actually don't know because I've yeah, been actually giving the game for free because on Patreon, you gave the game for free too. So I can't really tell if, if you have to pay for it. But all I know is that if you, even if you do have to pay for it, it's an amazing game. You have so much different stuff to do. All three different endings are definitely good to do. Speedrunners, definitely gonna have a fun time on this. It's randomly generated. So yeah. So. I definitely do love it. It's a great thing, definitely holding out, ha holding down the fans until uh, Mr. Ops 3 comes out or until Soul Le Leaks come out. But you guys, tell me guys in the comments below what you guys do think about this chapter. I mean, you know, this whole entire new game. And I'll see you guys all in the next video, guys. Goodbye.